Swift Shore is your ship, so we hope you'll come down and visit our 110-year-old uh, artifact uh, at South Lake Union and see for yourself the work that's being done and what the future holds for her. Lightship 83 is such a quintessential steamship. It has so many amazing spaces from the engine room on up to the, the wooden officer's cabins with a detailed trim from 1904 on up to the deck spaces. Short-term goal right now is we're putting this new deck on and we're trying to raise the funds to make it happen. We're about a fifth of the way through that project. The lightship is put in a place where we cannot build a lighthouse. There's no land there or anything, but we want it there and so we anchored a lighthouse. We started these back in 1818. We ended up through the years having about 125 different light stations and through the years about 140 some light ships. Lighthouses are very important to the navigators. Even that the Egyptians realized this because they built the first one in the, the mouth of uh, the Nile River 3,000 years ago. This is the uh, oldest loading light ship in, uh, in the country right now. It was built in 1904 and there isn't another one like it. It was originally a steam powered light ship and the steam engine is still on board which is the only one left in the United States. Came out here under steam and sail combination and took up station on the west coast and operated uh, first off the California coast, Blunt's Reef for 30 years, um, and then moved to San Francisco. It was the San Francisco light ship up until World War II. When it was actually pulled off station, along with all the lighthouses were shut off on the coast, all the buoys taken in, and the light ships were called off duty. And this was painted gray, put a deck gun on it, anti-aircraft guns, and became a naval vessel, uh, a patrol vessel off of uh, San Francisco. Returned to light ship duty after the war, and then came north and became the relief ship for the three northern stations, including the Swiftshire Bank. It's been a museum ship since 1966, and we want to restore this vessel because it is, this is a 1904 riveted iron steel ship. This is, this is eight years older than Titanic, and still here with us floating today, and it's a major cornerstone of maritime history here in the Northwest. I'm uh, doing the shipwright work, all the timber work on the ship. We're laying 11,000 feet of Douglas fir decking down, replacing the whole wooden deck on this vessel, bringing the deck back to its 1904 configuration. I am involved with the Swift Ship Project because I want my students to uh, see the importance of the marriage between wood and uh, steel. Um, the transferable skills that are part of this project, uh, pattern making, problem solving, it's a huge one, um, and uh, also a, a piece of the past, which is really interesting. Restoring the vessel is a big component, but using it as a teaching platform is really our focus. We want to teach the skills of shipwright work, of interior cabinet installation and cabin restoration of engineering down these spaces, getting the old generators going, turning the main engine over. There are a lot of different areas we want to get volunteers involved in, students, and teach these broad maritime subjects. And through teaching, we will accomplish the restoration of the vessel over time. I'm a volunteer for Northwest Seaport, particularly on uh, this vessel, uh, the lightship Swiftshore. My wife and I have been uh, in Seattle for quite a while and we became familiar with the historic vessels along the waterfront here and got interested in them and started volunteering. We wanted to be involved. We uh, have a real interest in the preservation of these vessels and their use as a public resource. We're training apprentices. We're taking all the skills that can be learned on the ship and passing them on to people and we're putting on a presentation for the public so they can come on board and they can watch this process happen. They can see the ship open up. They can see it coming together. Now the average age of a tradesman in the U.S. right now in any trade is 56 years old. We're losing them fast as people are getting old and retiring out. One of our plans for this ship is to not just restore this light ship but also we're going to make the lightship into a maritime career center. 
because the ship is not self-propelled, it's going to be primarily anchored here in South Lake Union. And we want people to come aboard to learn about maritime career opportunities in the Northwest. We intend to have classes aboard the ship to teach people maritime skills. We intend to have a resource center for young people that are interested in getting involved in maritime careers. This vessel is going to be a major asset down here, and we really want people to get involved and to engage with this ship and the heritage it represents and the possibilities that can be done here on board. As we open up the ship more and more, uh, we have a lot of great space in here. Just to be able to walk onto a piece of history and to see that piece of history the way it was, to experience it, to imagine what it was like to live and work on it, I think is going to be a lot of fun for visitors and very educational as well. I'd like to say to the community that this uh, ship belongs to you, to the community. It's a historic resource and we depend on you for the resources to complete the restoration. So we hope you'll come down and visit our 110 year old artifact uh, at South Lake Union and see for yourself the work that's being done and what the future holds for her. <laughs>